and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our next comedian from Philadelphia, PA. Give it up for Will Smith. What's up? What's up? Hey, how y'all doing out there? Hey, um, I'm a little tired though, you know. I, I had a rough date last night. I, I went out with this girl who ain't have no arms. I took her to the Arsenio Hall show and she was like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> well, that's cool. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I should be mad at my cousin Carlton, though, because he set me up with her. But uh, he ain't no prize himself. He kind of looked like a, a miniature Bryant Gumble on a bad hair day. <laughs> that's cool. Check it out. Um, but, but actually, my, my cousin Carlton, he don't have no problem buying clothes because he, he's so short, he just rips them off his G.I. Joe doll and wears them right out the box. <laughs> Will is really bombing up there. We should do something. Oh, good idea. before you hurt yourself. <laughs> Give Will Smith a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Give him a big round of applause. He'll be back, just not in here. <laughs> I hope you're funnier than the last guy. <laughs> I know I ain't get heckled by no Jerry Curl. <laughs> and you got the nerve to be smoking too? What you trying to do, kill us all? <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna bother no Jerry Curl, because I know that Plastic bag makes so much noise, and now y'all always irritable, huh? <laughs> crumple, crumple, I cannot sleep! <laughs> Maybe I better speak to you in your language. Drip, 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 drip. <laughs> I'm new in L.A. I know it's things you can't do, though. You can't wear colors. Can't wear red, one gang can beat you. Can't wear blue, other gang can beat you. Last night, thought I was slick and put on plaid. Two golfers beat the hell out of me, y'all. <laughs> and everybody in L.A. got a car phone. Don't matter how messed up the car. Sometimes the phone is the best thing on the car. You can tell the car raggedy. Every time the four-wing car just cut off. <laughs> Girl, I'm glad you called. I need to jump. Stop calling me. I'll never get home. <laughs> but I do this because I want to be rich. I don't want to be rich for the petty reasons that many of you do. I want to be rich so I can sleep late. Because when you broke, you know you got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes you accidentally wake up at 3. Ho, ho, ho! Am I late? <laughs> and black people set their alarm clock 30 minutes early so they can hit that snooze button three times. <laughs> Bomb, that was a drill. <laughs> I'm gonna get it right next time. <laughs> and now they're saying it's a recession. See, black folks, we didn't know it was a recession because we've been broke since the day before forever. <laughs> you know, black folks found a way to get around being broke because we'll put some stuff on layaway, won't we? <laughs> and leave it for a long time. I know brothers still got bell bottoms on layaway. <laughs> you ever left stuff on layaway so long you wouldn't even recognize it when you get back? <laughs> Damn, when I get an eight track tape player? <laughs> it's paid for now. <laughs> We do, man. And white folks, you see them in the unemployment office all the time. Two ten a week. How the hell am I gonna live off two ten a week? I'd rather be right behind them. Two ten a week for nothing. <laughs> Baby, get the kids. We don't come up. <laughs> it's basic differences. They just are. Like black parents are different than white parents. No better, no worse. Just different. So a movie called Poltergeist. In the movie, a little white child trapped in the TV says, "Start crying." Oh my God! <laughs> Caroline's in the TV. What are we gonna do? <laughs> you know, had that been a black mother, she'd have been proud. Picked up the phone, called her best friend. Girl, turn the channel too. <laughs> My baby's on TV. <laughs> but white people, I love you guys, because y'all you, get to do stuff we don't get to do. White people get to die and come back. Elvis been dead 15 years. People still seeing this, bro. When a black man is gone, he's just gone. You'll see brothers tell me, man, I just saw Marvin Gaye. <laughs> he was at the mall. How you know? I heard through the grapevine. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you very much. Give it up for Keith Campbell.